Alright guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Bat video. Today I'm covering the Extreme Z area for the Magical Girl Fighters. A lot of you guys are probably not going to be even interested in Extreme Z Awakening, any of these guys here. But, you know, it's my job to do all of the guides for all of the Extreme Z areas. And this is Extreme Z area to awaken three characters. So you've got Kokunsa, you've got Ribrian, and then you've got Rosie. So you've got these three uh, magical girl fighters from the tournament of power. Hey, if you're trying to make yourself a strong peppy girls team, these three will do on your team and they're pretty decent after they got the extreme Z awakening. So I'm going to jump into one of the stages. You can use these teams in any of the stages. All you've got to know is stage one, what you're awakening, stage two, what you're awakening and stage three, what you're awakening. So stage one is against Kukunsa. Uh, what you're going to need for her is, um, if you have some tech units because she's an AGO type so tech units will be strong there so um, but you're gonna have to pick out a specific characters where you can actually bring along the second stage is against uh, Rosie uh, so she's an int type so physical types are strong against her those yellows so bring some physical types along and then uh, the third stage is against Ruby and she's a strength type AGO types are strong against her what I'd uh, advise you to do is first form out the Kukunsa, the Rosie and the Ribrian from the free to play event um, and then after you've formed them all out form out another copy at super attack level 5 because what I'm going to do here is show you how to get them super attack level 15 for free and then it's up to you guys if you want to rainbow the characters I'm going to show you what you should use but first let's go ahead and beat one of the stages on the hard uh, difficulty so you guys can see what team I'm bringing along and probably the team that you should bring along as well so uh, you're limited to bringing only this Ribrian, so using a friend one. And then if we check her lead skills, Peppy Girls. So Peppy Girls mean you, you're pretty much going to have to bring a full-on roster of um, female fighters. But you have to, because you're actually limited here. If we check the limits, the characters, you have to bring these three guys on the team. So you go ahead, farm them up, super attack level 10 them, and strike, start extremely awakening them while you're doing this. So while you're getting stages done. So go ahead and get those three from the actual event itself is available in the stories. And then afterwards, you can get you can only use these characters here. Now, uh, here's a stupid thing. You see this uh, Ch kid Chi Chi here? She's not on Peppy Girls. She's a uh, kid Chi Chi. And what I think is instead of calling it Peppy Girls, they should have just called it Female Warriors. So you could put all the females on the category. But the stupid thing is you can't put this kid Chi Chi there because she's still a child. So... You know, but well you can bring her along on the event. It doesn't really make sense, but you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, you got a few fighters here. They pretty much uh, they put one pan here. Boom. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's weird. But yeah, you're gonna have to bring these guys along. So here, this is my team. I'm using the leader, uh, Brianne de Chateau. She's just basically she transforms into Ribrian, this horrible, ugly thing. Uh, lovely. <laughs> But yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, you got the Rosie. She's she's really good. Uh, and then you got uh, Kakunsa as well. I'm bringing Bola. She brings out her dad to do the Gallic Con. And then uh, Super Ribrian, Strength 1. And then we've also got the Physical 1. This is a Summonable 1, Brianne. And then she turns into Giant Form as well. So yeah, that's the team there. You can't bring any items. So that's the team that I'm using. This team can beat all of the stages. The only unfortunate thing is you have to bring those specific characters. Now, remember, when you're doing these stages, what you're going to need to do is beat the hard, easy stage and collect three medals from the left side, three medals from the right side. I don't care what color they are. Three from the left, three from the right. Once you've collected three from the left and the right, you'll have all the medals needed to fully extremely awaken the characters. So, yeah, it's a bit of a grind i think you should only be able to do it one time and be done with it but you know you need to do it th uh, three times for all of one medals another three times for all of the other medals and then jump into the harder stage three times left three times right so in total you're gonna have to do 12 12 times and you're gonna have to beat the stages 12 times okay and okay uh so yeah you want to make sure you bring the characters that are blocking you know Kukunsa can block those two hits here because they do hit really hard they do hit really hard and yeah you should be able to beat this all right 
So I put the physical rib rian all the way on the back end. And then while you're doing this, a few of their link skills will level up and everything. Here's a look at the Kokunsa's super attack. Decent. And here's Rosie's. Yep. I do like her super attack more. I don't like the pose at the end though. <laughs> Strike pose. <laughs> oh gosh. And then, uh, here you go. Brianne's horrible, ugly. <laughs> you know, even Vegeta got scared when that thing was coming at him. He was like, I ain't punching that. <laughs> Move! <laughs> I ain't even punching that. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, but yeah, there you go. There's, there's the actual stage done. So yeah, it can be quite difficult, but hey, if you got the team, it should be all right. So there was the hardest stage done, Super 2. But yeah, just be careful where you place your characters and then collect all of the medals. So you're going to have to do 12 times this stage, this stage and this stage and collect three of each of the medals to fully extremes the awaken them. Next up, we're going to go ahead and fully extremes the awaken the Ribrian. Uh, so we go level you are and then fully extremes the awaken them. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and see what they all do. And then I'll do a quick little bonus at the end of the video. So stay tuned, guys. We're not done here. Okay, so passive skill and everything boosted. We'll go ahead and train her up. Now, here's what I've done. I have actually fully trained up one of the Rebrians. I made her super attack level five. So I can go ahead, grab her, feed her in, super attack level 15. There you go. And then automatic on that. Lovely. So there you go. Super attack level 15. There you go, max SA. And we'll have a look at what she does. Uh, let's go ahead and awaken the other two farmed up characters that I have. Uh, so we go to acquired. So I've farmed up another copy of Kokunsa at super attack level 5. And same thing with Rosie, super attack level 5 as well. So you just super attack them at level 5, then you awaken them. Okay, you don't need to train them, you just awaken them. Okay. Okay, you don't need to train him. And then we go to team and we go training. And then, yeah, see the level 141? Take her. Take the one we trained up. No items needed for this. And then we go ahead. And there you go. Super attack level 10 to 15 for free. Completely done. You don't have to use any Odakai's whatsoever. So there, the super attack changes when they're at super attack level 15. And then there we go for the Kukunsa as well. There we go. We've got all three of the female warriors of Universe 4, is it? I think it's Universe 4. I'm not sure about the universes, but yeah, I think that's the universe. Okay, and then uh, let's have a look at Rosie. So two, super attack level 15, special pose, category leader. She gives three key and 77% stats, which is very good for free to play. And int type leader as well, three key and 50% stats. Uh, her uh, super attack is the Yachina Fist Extreme, which it raises defense and causes supreme damage to enemy and lowers defense. Make sure you give this uh, lady herself loads of additionals. And then on her passive skill, attack and defense plus 80%. Special pose category allies get two key and attack and defense plus 22%. Attack plus 22% at the start of each turn and seals enemies super attack when there's an ally whose name who includes Ribrian or Kokonsa attacking in the same turn. So she's a sealer with any of those other two alongside her and she's basically a supportive buff as well for attack and defense. And then uh, she, I did notice that she dodges as well. Well, no, uh, yeah, that's what she does. And then they all actually have the exact same link, skip, link set. So whatever she has, the other two have as well. So she's more for support. Let's see what she does. Oh, so she raises a attack so a special uh, special pose category leader as well she's the same as rosie but this time her sub buff is for ago types and then she raises attack and supreme damage and lowers attack as well so make sure you're giving them both a decent amount of additionals so that's the wild claw extreme and then uh attack and defense 88 percent special pose category allies get two key uh, she provides extra defense, so she can give up to 44% extra defense, while the other one gives 44% extra attack. And then she has a high chance of stunning if there's Rubrian or Rosie. So she's a stunner with a defensive support, 
while the other one is a sealer with the offensive support so there you go and then they have the same link set and then uh let's also check out what ribrian does uh okay let's see your super she should be down here somewhere we'll go by we'll go by level okay where is that fat jigglypuff come on jigglypuff where are you let's check out what that ruby on there she is all the way at the top there so peppy girls category leader three key and almost 100 percent stats just 99 percent and a strength type leader as well uh her super attack she actually has multiple super attacks so if we check on the details she has a 30 percent chance of the super attack transforming for gate greater power which is actually a hundred and fifty percent a super attack buff instead of the 140 and then from 12 keys she has the um rubrian super attack the regular one the super more shower so she has two super attacks and then she raises attack and defense for one turn which is a 20 uh a 30 percent increase and causes supreme damage to enemy and lowers defense and then her Wow, she has a massive, um, she has a massive one here. So she gets attack and defense per Puppy Girls category ally on the team, 22% for each one. So she maxes out around 140%. Nice. Recovers a lot of HP for Rainbow Key Spheres, plus an additional attack and defense, and a chance of performing a critical hit, and chance of evading enemies' attack, including a super attack, when there's a Rosie or Kukunsa attacking on the same turn. So. She basically gets a whole bunch of extra dodge for each Rosia Kukunsa. Now, what I realized is I was using Rosie alongside on her team, and she was actually giving that dodge percentage to Rosie and Kukunsa as well. So, if you have Rosie, Kukunsa, and you have Ribrian, she'll give them dodge as well. So, it's a passive that kind of feeds throughout the team. So, there you go. That's all the ladies done, and that's their event. So, go ahead, farm them up. Next thing, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab all of my gifts here. So, basically, these are all the gifts for the chain battle. So, we get loads of orbs. And then also farmed out the uh, battlefield um, ultimate clash. And we've got some cards and stuff. And we've got three stickers as well. So, there we go. And then, uh, what, what I'm going to do is quickly go over to the treasure chests and exchange all my treasure chests. There we go, we go 10. So we'll do 10 in each time. Alright, let's see if we've got anything good here. Oh, we've got a level 2 in. I'm trying to get a level 5 in for my Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And then we've got a level 4 defense. We've got level 3 additional, level 2 dodge. Level 3, okay, not bad, not bad. And uh, let's go again. Anything good? Come on, come on, we need level 5. Ah, oh, we've got a level 5 dodge. Uh, nothing good there, nothing good. Okay. And what we've got here, we've got, oh, we didn't get anything good. That's terrible. Okay, let's go again. But yeah, as always, guys, if you enjoyed today's Doll Combat video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for some more, and make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Some big stuff is on the way. We're literally nearing. I'll gap towards Christmas. So, you know, loads of great things coming on Dokkan. Okay, we're just getting level 5 dodge, uh, defense there. Come on, give us a level 5 additional crit or that super attack boost. Ah, oh, we've got the AGO one. Alright, we've got a level 5 in super attack boost. That might help. And then the last two. Ah, there we go. Okay. And then for the final bit of the video, Rising Dragon Carnival. Come on, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Show up, buddy. Final multi summon for the video. Wish me some luck, guys. Let's see if we can get anything good here. All right, we've got the trio. We've got the trio. Tien, Chaozu, and Yamcha. Pull down. Release. Ooh, come on, double crack screen. Here we go, here we go. Come on, give me that. It's over freezer. Okay, we got it's over freezer. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. You got you got to. You have to. Dokkan, you must. Please. I've been waiting a minute for these. Hit. I don't think he's featured. I don't think he's featured. I don't think so. 
Uh, Angel. Oh yeah, I think this guy is featured. He's very good with his extreme Z awakening and everything. Oh yeah. It is what it is. Or is it over? No, I'm sure TN. Ah, another in Vegeta. Oh, this guy needs an extreme Z awakening. Well, okay, Dokkan. Okay, okay. Dokkan wants to play some games with me. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'll be back for some more summons. But yeah, as always, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe for some more Dokkan battle content videos and loads of stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.